Okay. Hello, dear friends. This video is um, about makeup and uh, the importance of uh, not using makeup or the importance that beyond makeup. And um, I have uh, seen some picture just randomly through the internet saw some picture, people without making up, and they are just gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, there are all kinds of people, some prettier, some not, and I come to the realization that it is not important. It is not the makeup that change a person. It is the spirit of the person that makes you pretty or not. So I am thinking I can comfortable be with myself, but at home. And if I go outside, I will be more comfortable just to treat myself with respect. It's not to say that I do not treat myself with respect without makeup. It just, uh, it makes me more, um, a little bit more covered. It's like uh, you can be beautiful without closing, but you cannot go up without closing. Do I make sense? No, it does not make sense. You can be beautiful with or without makeup, but if you pay a little bit attention in life, make a little bit effort, make effort in everything you do, you will enjoy more, you will appreciate more. I think this... So, people with... Some people born with these marks on the face, and I saw a picture with ladies with this mark, just beautiful. And it really depends when you go to the nature, to the sunshine, have all these uh, marks. It's actually more natural, more characteristic than just a plain face without anything. I always say that uh, it is important to have this dog, especially when you are in love. And so often time when we are in love, we mm, we uh, sit together for dinner, for coffee, for something, and just sitting there staring at each other. And if you have a perfectly plain face with nothing at all, only a beautiful pair of uh, shiny eyes, perfect nose, perfect mouth, perfect lips, you have only three attractions. Oh, I have a new makeup. Let me show you. And you, I bought this yesterday, and you have only three attractions. Although they might be top attraction, but it's hard. And it's not sufficient to tame a wild heart. You need some more things to let him do. A perfect face with three attractions will not beat a lady, a girl, with many more dots. And these can occupy your mind, your man's heart. And uh, he will be busy to begin with, to count, to count your dots. And, uh, and also this can tame a little bit further his wild. Anyway, I'm 
find a new one. Let me try this. So, um, so give yourself in the morning. If you go to C class, you go to different places. Need different kind of makeup or different kind of treatment for yourself. You go to beach, you definitely do not need to make this eyelid, eyeshadow, and you need a, a full gear of sun cream, right? But if you go to office, you do not want you, your face shining like, like a light bulb, shining with all the oils and on your face. You need to tame it a little bit by putting a little bit of powder, right? So, the whole point of, uh, of uh, making up or not making up is to bring the best of yourself and to bring the confidence of yourself and make yourself go into a comfort zone, right? If you are too... Um, too much makeup is not good for the beach, for hiking, for outdoor, and it makes you look silly and strange. But without making up, not at all, going to office, to a party, also make you a different animal in that situation. So no matter where you go, make the right thing does not have to be a lot. Today is weekend. I am with myself. So the thing I want to do is simple and easy and uh, nothing complicated. Just uh, just a little bit of uh, a little tiny bit of highlighting so make myself looks treating myself with respect or spending time on myself with myself makes me happy and grounded ground put myself on to ground zero and that is all you need. So I think some people, this is a, a forever discussion. Some people more comfortable with makeup, some people less comfortable with makeup. It is a life habit. It's like some people like more salty food, some people like less salty plain food. It's just a part of living habit. Nothing to blame, nothing to complain. And do whatever you feel the most comfortable with. find the right color. I think as we age, our color uh, preference change. Uh, used to be bright, very bright, and then um, become pale, and then need to be a little bit brighter again. It's really uh, an age thing and uh, a skin color thing. You get too much sunshine, you need some uh, stronger color to go with it. You are pale, you can get lighter color. And preparing a couple of uh, lipsticks of different, different but similar color within your range is good. Now 
it tames a little bit. This, this is no color. This is very um, pale and, uh, and uh, dull color. With a very bright color, you just make it neutral. The right point. I can see myself behind the mirror. So happy every day and be happy every day and um, if you are in love, girls, and you need some advice, then you don't need to put doubts. Then do not cover up yourself and uh, use your disadvantage, disadvantage, as your own uniqueness, as the essential of yourself, as the essence of yourself. And uh, do not try to be perfect. You can try to be perfect of your own self but not try to look at others and fit into other people's standard, other people's appearance, and do not fit into the trend. You can never catch up the trend, and the trend is decided by the people who has nothing to do but making trend, right? There are those beauty criticism, and all what they do is to look at the picture, look at people and say they are good looking or bad looking. Who knows if they are good looking or bad looking. Anyway, do not force yourself wearing other people's shoes. Do not force yourself to be another people's mold. Be yourself. If you have thoughts, enjoy your thoughts. If you do not have your thoughts, enjoy your be beautiful, perfect, clear face. And uh, I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. You know what I'm talking about, right? Bye bye, friend.